Hello, it's Catherine again, day 23 of the Shadow series. And um, so today I will tell you that um, I woke up very discombobulated from some weird dreams and then had a conversation with a friend that I was sort of disappointed in. And, um, and I was thinking, oh, you know, what can I say to like, change this person's mind or help them see something differently because I was sort of disappointed in the way that, that they were seeing something or not seeing something. And, you know, I was, I was really sort of, I don't know, felt like just disturbed about that. And I just wasn't in the greatest mood, you know, whatever. Uh, and sort of all of those things, you know, were coming about. And as it happens, we're, we're in a retrograde again. Um, I think it's until right around the, the new moon. And um, of course, that's always a time to revisit old patterns and stuff like that, right? So, and, um, and you know, at one point I was continuing to think about, about the situation with this person. And um, I went on my walk, you know, it's always a good way to, calm down and let things sort of air out. And, uh, and I was like, oh man, I wish I could just like, just shake them and, uh, you know. And then I thought, or then I was reminded, I was reminded, hey, you know, the stuff that bothers us the most about other people is often really something that's part of our stuff, right? And then I started to process that a little bit and I need to process it some more and I need to figure out exactly, you know, what it is. But I certainly in that very case, you know, I was wishing this person to have more compassion for another person and to um, handle something in a really loving way. And then I realized like, oh, it's not, and that's not what I did. It's just what I wanted to do. I just want to be clear about that. I didn't do it. I wanted to do it. And then I was reminded, no, you're looking for this person to be more loving Then you know, that's what you need to do too. And so that to bring this around to you and not to just be about me, the idea being that yet another way for us to figure out what our shadows are, to see where the work is that we need to do, where those patterns are, we can often see that in our relationships, right, with other people, that when we become irritated with someone else about something, when something really bothers us about another person, when we get triggered by another person, often that is really about us. That's something that, that's an issue for us and that we need to look at and not be so worried about the other person. We need to be worried about what's going on for us. Why is this affecting us so badly? What is it, what's getting disturbed? What's, what dust is getting stirred on the floor there that needs to be cleaned up, you know? And that's just another version of shadow work. So, and the idea being that our shadows, our rough edges, I've heard it said, and this may even be a quote from somewhere that I'm, I'm appropriating, sorry. Um, that the idea that our rough edges are rubbed off in relationship, right? They're smoothed in relationship. If we allow that, that in relationship, that's where we get mirrored, you know, what we're doing and what's going on. And that's where we get shown where our weaknesses and where our, um, our issues are right in, is in relationship. I mean, if you could hide in a cave all the time, then you wouldn't have to deal with, a lot of yourself, right? Because it wouldn't come up. But when you're surrounded by family and friends and children and coworkers and people on the interstate, you know, you have to deal with your stuff because it comes up. So we're going to find a lot of our shadows in relationship. The stuff that we need to work, we need to work on will come up in relationship. And that's a great and fruitful place to find things to work on. So and then remember, it's about you, <laughs> right? In the end, it's your stuff. So don't forget that, because I almost did, but I didn't happily. But I can sometimes, I'm, you know, it happens. And then I have to be nice to myself and forgive myself, but not today. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a great one. 
Love you. Questions, thoughts, whatever. You're always in my prayers. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.